Hey everybody, Raven here, and today I want to talk to you about silver, and actually 10 things that you may not know about silver itself. Now we're going to start with factoid number one. Where did the word silver come from? Well, the word silver comes from the Anglo-Saxon Old English word of sulfur, and that actually was derived from the Germanian word known as syllabar. So over time, those two words were what we now modernly call silver, which is pretty neat. Number two, in ancient Egypt and other areas, silver was actually more highly prized than gold and was worth more than gold. The reasons for this is because silver had to be imported from faraway lands and also, especially in Egypt, silver was highly susceptible to the corrosive salts that were in the um, burial grounds and tomb environments. So it's one of those metals that they knew it was beautiful, but yet, you know, it might not last like gold. And they had a lot of gold in Egypt. So that kind of gives you that old adage of supply and demand, you know, where in an area that silver wasn't really found readily available, it made sure that silver was worth quite a bit more. All right, number three, silver is used to make it rain. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in a process called seed clouding, they use silver iodide, and that helps to bring rain to places like Dubai and deserts and stuff throughout the world. Even you can see it across the United States in some areas. And it's said to, one, help bring rain to an area that might not have been getting rain at that time, and two, to help make severe weather less severe um i think that's a pretty interesting little uh use that they're doing there uh number four the discovery of silver so silver has been mined for over six thousand years and is one of the first five elements discovered along with gold copper lead and iron it's believed that silver was first found and discovered while mining for copper and uh, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a neat metal. It's got a lot of uses. Uh, number five, it has medicinal uses and applications. Matter of fact, the expression, born with a silver spoon in your, their mouth, actually refers to being healthy rather than being wealthy. And what that means is often they found that children that were fed with silver spoons, utensils, and whatnot that had silver in their system were much more healthier than the other children that were eating off of other metals. Uh, silver compounds were also used to prevent infections from spreading in war zones during World War I. It's anti anti <laughs> it's, it's got antimicrobial product, uh, properties and it breaks down the cell membranes of bacteria and destroys the bacteria over time. Silver is also used as an alternate medic, medic, uh, medicine in uh, treatments to treat colds, flu viruses, sinus and lung infections. And number six, silver was used by NASA to purify water in the first space shuttle programs. They tested over 23 different methods and they found that silver was the most efficient way to uh, purify water and keep it clean. All right, so where does silver come from? Well, the largest mining operations in the world are in Mexico and Peru. But many other countries like the United States, uh, Canada, Russia, and Australia have quite a bit of silver in mining operations as well. Uh, most silver is found as a mining byproduct of, again, copper, lead, and zinc. Fact number eight, silver can be made to go a long way. And what that means is this is one of the most ductile or malleable uh, metals on earth, which means you can really stretch it out, uh, which is amazing because a one ounce piece of silver, from what I understand, can be stretched to approximately 8,000 foot long wire. Um, now... There is a drawback when processing silver. It can become explosive um, because a thing called silver fulminate can form. And that is the destructive part of silver that I didn't even know about until I did research 
uh, with Miss Raymond to figure out what we were going to do for this video because I thought it'd be neat to share with you guys different things and uses of silver besides these gorgeous pieces we have in front of us. All right, so the main uses of silver, which is number nine, um, or how how much is used, there's 9,000 metric tons that are used by the photography industry alone, which is approximately half the total um, minted silver annually. Matter of fact, that 9,000 tons equals 19,841,000 plus pounds of gold. Uh, I mean, not gold, silver. <laughs> uh, the other half is used for things that you see like here. You have really cool sterling stuff, poured bars, silver rounds, uh, poured art and um, jewelry, and bullion as well. Now, silver is something that is used in everybody's life without them realizing it. Um, it is used in your cars, window defrosters in the rear of your vehicle. It is also used in a lot of electronics and um, solar panels for homes and little uh, carryable, you know, portable solar panels. So whether you realize it or not, you're using silver every single day. And it's one of the reasons why I still think silver is a very cool investment to have in your uh, life. Um, as you can see here, I have silverware that me and my family eat off of. I stack silver because it has been increasing in value and has been actually in recent times holding a value of over $30 an ounce. And had you started investing in silver just seven years ago, you'd have already doubled your money in um, what you have by that, that silver that you got seven years ago, which was at like $14, $15 an ounce, is now over $30. And that's where doubling your money would have came into full effect for this. Um, I think it's pretty neat to know that everything that silver makes, I mean, I have a lot of silver in the background. Um, the many different uses for silver makes me surprised that it still is only worth about $30 an ounce while gold is worth $2,300 an ounce. Maybe one day it'll get back to being a lot more valued than it currently is. Maybe we'll see at some point really expensive silver, $100 an ounce or something like that. But I think that's a long time coming. If you want to correspond, it's RaymondOtCoins at gmail.com. The P.O. Box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Raymond Hawk Coins, have a great day.